welcome back to cad cam tutorial today we are going to see what exactly weldments see we will study some basic tools of weldments so let's start to understand the weldment first we need to make a structure 3d line structure so select 3d sketch go to sketch and select a line and draw one normal 2d lines Uh, you can uh, use the tab to change the direction press tab ok now start from this line <coughs> connect with this line now connect this two lines the same as here connect these two lines and connect this this line now exit now this is your 3d structure now first we have to make some relation to Let's select these four lines and make relation equal. Equal and okay. Now select the bottom four lines and make relation equal. Okay. Now select these vertical lines and equal. Uh, it's showing something. Uh, we will do one thing select first two lines uh, or better select parallel all these two lines select parallel and this line also select parallel now let's define some dimension keep 800 mm and select the height 300 mm ok now our geometry is fully defined you can see now this is our 3D structure. Now we will see what exactly weldments. Go to weldments. Exit from the sketch. And select structural member. Now here are the many options. ISO and inch. Whatever you like. So select ISO. And here are the types of uh, uh, profiles. Either angle iron, C channel, pipe, beams, whatever available. This is default. So let's say C channel and these are the some sizes. Let's we will select inch. We will select C channel and we will select 3 by 5 inch. Now here this is the group. Whatever lines we will select it is considered a group. So let's say I select this one. See the C channel profile already selected. Now, here in first group you can select four corners. Now you can see it here. This corners automatically converted and it becomes a. Here you can select the corner treatments and meter and see there are two, three types. See. It's up to you, but I prefer this type of meter. Then here, one more option, mirror profile. See. See here, horizontal. It's, it's coming out. You can see. Now, select alignment. Now this profile, if you select this line, see it is parallel to this line or perpendicular to all this line. 
there are many options ho alignment horizontal and vertical if you choose vertical or horizontal it's up to you clear and here one more option degree if you put 45 degree see your profile become a 45 degree zero okay now select new group and select this three lines even you can choose mirror profile vertical see it's become a mirror and now you can create one more group select this profile now here see this profile or this channel is created here but this is out of the line what we have to do we have to do one thing just go to down and select here locate profile now it is asking the center point select this line and see it is uh, shifted to inside this c channel now for other line you have to create one more group so select new group select this line see it is uh, shifted to outside so just select locate profile select this outer line now it is see it is shifted inside now create one more group and select this line now it is the profile location you can see it is showing outward direction so first we have to mirror this okay it is mirror now locate the profile and we will select this outer line now it is shifted inside now select okay see this is the our structure steel structure now here we left one i will see why we left now again create one more again choose structural member select the same thing and select now you can see this height this is started from one end to another end so what we have to do we have we need to trim it so how we have to do select okay now this is outside just edit locate profile select outer line and choose mirror profile now see it's going to match with the profile select okay now there are two structures one and this one too see this is the more than extra here it is extra part and we need to cut it so there is one option trim and extend just select trim and here select the bodies to be trimmed select this body we want to trim this extra part here and select this portion either you have to select or body face you have to select the two between face and a body you have to select one plain body so we prefer face here and select this face and this face now here see it is asking discard keep just clip keep it will keep if you select this discard so it will delete this or trim this outer faces select okay now see this is the they selected or trim this faces height 3d axis this is the our structural member right click update now this is the one structure and this is the another structure see it is trimmed from here so this is the simple tutorial 
of weld mints i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching